Gentlemen, welcome to this first ever Let's Play on Heavy Basics on the Heavy Basics channel in nearly a long time. And we're going to do the English version of Pokemon Black. In fact, this is a magnificent 12 run of the 3 starter edition. Now, the 3 starter edition is basically me picking all 3 starters from start to finish as the, as the 3 stars are part of 12 magnificent Pokemon that will rise and kick ass. Anyway, we are now introducing our first, um, well, our first big main change. Not only is the person, Professor Uniper, is speaking to us, that's the professor in this game. If you take a look at the distraction, which is the Mixino, actually functioning in 3D and looking very good as well, considering. Anyway. Now we get to talk about this stuff. Oh, by the way, I hate the default names already. I don't like the guy's name being Hilbert, and I don't like the fact that the other one on the right is called Hilda. Screw you. I am picking my own name, and I am picking Damien. Damien is the default name for the guy, and the one with the big ass is called Louise. So, you're gonna have to get used to that. Anyway, the first stop is E. McNeilis, I mean, Sharon, and of course, Stu Mackie right here. I mean, Kayla, I mean, Bianca. Anyway, all three of us are best friends, and thus, we must all, all stick together in this, in this brand new journey and such. Right before we take a look at the brand new introduction cutscene, right after the introduction, this is what we call a stay, a step forward, a cutscene. We start inside Damien's house where he and his best friend Sharon are talking about a gift they received from Professor Unipa and they are waiting their other best friend, Bianca, who is late as hell. She arrives at the top of the stairs and pretty much saying that she is sorry for being late. Oi, they're all age 15 to 16 and it is their first time they're getting their Pokemon. By the way, this is the first time that, well, Game Freak is, is, is doing a better story concept instead of just, you know, Flesh, fleshing a story out of a uh, catch them all. I mean, they started trying to do this into a platinum. They improved the top girl so silver they made a better story, and now they've just um, started with this brand new story derivative plot of this story. Anyway, before we do that, we need to introduce our, uh, our, our gift. This is our starters. After you look at the present, and then you look at the box, and you find three starters. Snivy, Tepig, and Oshawott, and we are going with Oshawott as our main starter. Oshawott, I have chosen for the many reasons. I've decided not to use fire for a change, because I'm already using fire in another black and white that's like still ongoing. At the moment it's reached 40, but I've just beaten the second gym there. Anyway. Now we have to we get this introduction of, of a fight sequence inside someone's room. This is the first time you fight in your own bedroom. With Gip, but the presence still there. And you start off against Bianca. Now Bianca has chosen the starter that is weakest to you, so she's chosen Tepic, which is a big huge fire pig of awesomeness. Which has which has a big flaming snout and a tail. 
this is coil. Like a like a spoink. So let's carry on. This makes good sure. Anyway. All you can do is tackle. Pretty much. By the way, the initial battles are a lot harder in this game than before. Sometimes the computer works against you, sometimes the computer will lay down a line of damage. And you have to be it because Oh shit. Oh. Yeah, if I get hit now, I lose, and thank god I don't. Otherwise, it's just gonna suck. Look at that. what gets 43 experience, and Bianca has been, well, slain, really. Poor Kayla. Anyway, jeez, your room's a mess. Hey, wait a minute, what the hell happened to the present? Wow, it got destroyed by. Bloody hell. That's a lot of devastation for one room. Well, that's pretty much shows you the power of uh, pipes, pipe-sized monsters. Uh, yes, yes, Jared. Yank is hopeless. Completely and utterly hopeless. Kind of sounds like Aemon, to be honest. Anyway, time for um, Tarasen to time for the mighty Tarasen to take on the Emic Venus. Otherwise, your other rival battle, Aemon. As he says before, he's chosen the type that is strongest to you. Keep an eye on Sharon's type. You will be facing that type in the first gym. And I am not serious either. So Snyder comes in at a level 5, and you pick a Yoshua, which is a level close to a level 6. Oh, by the way, Snyder is a more defensive, speedy, grass type. Unfortunately, it's a uh, brutal, shallow, and shit. I mean, really, he really is crap. It's just not good enough. So, like the like the tepid, like the pork group battle before, this is, this is not surprising. Oh, it does slow. Yeah. Nice try, Eamon. Nice try. You suck. In this, in this, in this sort of battle, you take advantage of every, every means to your advantage, which includes not wiping out your Pokémon in one hit. So anyway, that's the end of these two battles. You get a free 1,000, 1,000 credits combined, which is brilliant, because you'll need those. You'll definitely need those. We'll be buying later on. Anyway, we're coming towards the end of the part. I'm still a guy you watch what? It's a quiet one, which means it's not a very good one, and I really need that speed of hits. So, we're going to be changing the Oshawott in other types, so next part, we leave our room and such.